So how's your bracket? Mine got busted early on. Hopefully yours is still intact. A lot of favorites still alive there. For more on local sports, here's Justin Jarrett. Hey, it's Monday, so it's time for Loco Lights on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. Most of the Friday night sports schedule was washed away by heavy rain, which kept our Loco Sports stars off the soggy baseball and softball diamonds again Saturday. But the new turf fields at area high schools allowed the show to go on for the Hilton Head High Lacrosse teams and the May River Boys soccer squad, which didn't have any trouble sinking up in saturated conditions in the tank, swimming to a 10-0 win over Hilton Head Prep. Team Loco's soccer reporter Connor Worrell joined us on Friday's episode of the Loco Sports Lowdown to give his thoughts on the Sharks' performance and preview May River's showdown with the rival Bobcats in the Bluffton Derby on Tuesday. The clash between the Hilton Head Prep and May River girls was a far more intriguing matchup, but we didn't get the pleasure because the skies opened up in Sea Pines and the conditions were, well, great for this. Classic rain delay theater, but no soccer in Sea Pines. The rains cleared out in time for a lacrosse double dip at the nest on Saturday, and Team Loco's Wes Kerr was there to see the Hilton Head High girls continue their hot streak with a 16-10 win over Academic Magnet. Maddie Massey scored four goals and added an assist, while Veronica Markowitz and Sophia Cavano each added a hat trick and an assist for the Seahawks, who have won three straight and are 4-0-1 in their last five. Tough test at home tonight against Class 5A Chapin, and a big trip to Lucy Beckham on Thursday. The Seahawk boys found themselves in a Donnybrook with perennial power Bishop England, and Hilton Head took a one-goal lead into halftime but couldn't sustain the success on attack, managing only two second-half goals as the Bishops buckled down for a 10-9 win. Lucas Thibodeau had two goals and three assists, Jackson Olander scored a hat trick, and Jacob Martin added two goals and two assists to lead the Seahawks. A strong Lucy Beckham squad visits the nest for a key matchup Thursday. The USCB Sandsharks had to push back the start of their Peach Belt Conference baseball and softball series this weekend, but the Sandsharks were back in action Sunday with a pair of doubleheaders against the Augusta Jaguars. The Sandshark softball team split its double dip at Augusta, letting a late lead slip away in a 5-4 walk-off loss in the opener before putting up five runs in the first inning and hanging on in a 9-8 nail-biter in the nightcap. Jaden Goodwin had a monster day at the plate going 5-for-7 with two doubles, a homer, three runs, and four RBIs, and catcher Addie Reynolds caught fire again, blasting homers in both games. Rubber match today at noon, and it's a big one in the Peach Belt standings. A strong Jaguars pitching staff stymied the Sandshark baseball team's lineup in a doubleheader sweep Sunday in Hardyville, as Augusta jumped out to early leads in both games and rode strong performances on the mound, 6-2 and 6-1 victories. Game 3 on tap at 1 p.m. Monday in the Ville. And the dream of competing at the next level moved one step closer to reality for seven more student-athletes from the Loco last week. They had back-to-back -back signing days at Hampton County, where a trio of track stars and a football standout commemorated their college choices. Makai Davis made it official he will run with the Thundering Herd at Marshall, while fellow track athletes Kadeja Smoke and Zakila Henderson stayed in-state with Allen and Columbia College, and linebacker Cody Seegers will strap on the pads at Greensboro College. A trio of Buford Eagles celebrated signing day on Friday with football stars Adrian Lamb and Darrell DePass heading to Georgia Military College in Limestone, while multi-sport standout Dom Camacho has opted to play baseball while attending Ferrum College. Congrats to all. We look forward to seeing what you do while repping the loco at the next level. We'll look back on the biggest headlines from the weekend and round up the results from a busy Monday night on the loco sports scene live at 10 p.m. on the loco sports lowdown. Plus, you never know who will stop by to join the conversation. Find it on the Loco Media Network on YouTube or on our social media feeds. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco. Thanks, Justin. We want to thank all of our folks for being involved in this show and helping make us just a little bit smarter over the last 30 minutes. A special thanks to you for spending some time with us. If you missed anything at all, we'll be back in 90 minutes. I'm Bob Stevens.